Once upon a time, a very very long time ago, a planet existed without no cities, there were no roads, no technology, no civilization, and yes, no humans, no people. Only animals and nature itself inhabited this planet. Forests were vast and numerous, and the wildlife thrived. Apes ruled the trees and evolution flourished. In a world untouched by civilization, our story begins millions of years ago in the shadows of a distant past. The journey starts with some of the earliest members of our extended family, the early hominids. These beings, part of the hominidae family, early primates, more ape-like than human, began to walk on two legs, learning to hunt and gather. Imagine a time more than four million years ago when our predecessors were more akin to their primate ape cousins. From later findings of, among others, Artie and Lucy, we know that these primates were primitive with small brains and not much taller than about 1 meter or 3.3 feet. But unlike their ancestors, these primates chose to walk on the ground upright on two legs. And they continued to do so going forward during a time when they have probably developed a lot and have been able to acquire new characteristics. Around 2.5 million years ago, we find Homo rudolfensis and Homo habilis. These are the first primitive Homo species, where various finds suggest that they used simple tools. Both their brains and their bodies were larger than their predecessors. Rudolfensis was approximately 1.6 meters or 5.3 feet tall, while Habilis was slightly smaller at approximately 1.2 meters or just under 4 feet. These early Homo species evolved over the next million years into Ergaster and then Erectus. At this point, we're still just under 2 million years back in time, that's 1 million years earlier than the Neanderthals, and this is where it starts to get really exciting. It all unfolds in Africa, the cradle of Homo evolution. And here ends our prelude. And the next episode follows the beginning of our intelligent evolution. Click next video to watch episode 2, the beginning.